Hi, so like, ideally this video will actually make more sense than a lot of my other voice videos because I actually scripted it, but I just want to preface that. So if I sound fake or anything like that, I, I don't mean to. It's just scripted because I really wanted to make sure that all the information I had in this video came across genuinely. As you can tell, I'm going off script right now, but you know what I mean. So I'm sorry if I don't sound genuine in this video. It's just because I scripted it. We're also going to ignore the fact that this is my green light MEP background. I really need to keep more backgrounds, okay? Hey my lovely loafleys, it's Sweet here, back again with a semi-organized video! I know, crazy! So judging by the title of this video, you know the fact that it's scripted. I should give you the sense that this is going to be a bit of a different video. I want to first come out and say no, I'm not quitting. Quite the opposite really, this video is all about my journey with LPS, so yeah, I'm not going anywhere, at least not for a long time. <laughs> Now, some of you may be like, but sweet, you only started YouTube two years ago. What the hell is there that you could possibly talk about? Exactly, two years if this video goes up on the right date. Hopefully it does. Nonetheless, you would be right. But my Instagram has been around for three years and my TikTok is going to be five in March. So you can say I've been around for quite a while. <laughs> So it's pretty safe to say I've been active in the LPS community for a long time. Not to mention I've been consistently watching LPS tube ever since I was 9 and I am now 16 and I will be 17 in early May. Now that we've established the fact that I actually do have something to talk about, let's just jump right into it. The year was 2014 and I was a stupid little fourth grader. <laughs> Probably, it was like 2014, 2015 time. At this time, I was crazy into Beanie Boos of all things. If you don't know what those are, they're like, they're basically stuffed animals with like really huge eyes. <laughs> and I spent all of my allowance money on them, which was like six bucks a week. So I mean, I mean, that's actually more than some people make. So I really shouldn't be complaining. However, LPS were still very high on my favorite toy list. And they'd been that way ever since I got my first ones when I was like five. And at that time, my collection was about three 300 or so, probably a little less if I'm gonna be honest. But since I was really into Beanie Boos, I wasn't really buying any LPS at this time. It was also the time when they had like the really, really ugly LPS based on the TV shows, you know, like the downright scary ones that they had a video game for. At this time, I was also watching a lot of Beanie Boo YouTube, and something to note, there's actually quite a bit of overlap between the LPS and Beanie Boo communities, well, at least at this time. So, some of my favorite Beanie Boo YouTubers also uploaded a few LPS videos from time to time, and that opened a whole new world for me when I fell down the rabbit hole that is LPS Tube. <laughs> I can't say for certain what my first LPS video was, but I'm going to assume it was probably an adoption type video since those are the ones I watched a lot on Beanie Boo channels. I know for a fact though LPS Popular was not my first LPS series I watched. I don't know which one it was, but I don't remember finding LPS Popular until later on. I do however remember the first LPS Hannah videos I watched, which were simply fabulous, that whole series. I also remembered that she'd very re recently released them when I watched them, like the final one had came out pretty recently. Anyways, the point is I fell deep into LPS Tube and I started binging so many of the classic series like Uptown, More Than That, The Big Move, My Life as a Model, Sweethearts, and so many more. And yeah, LPS popular. To say that I was hooked would be the biggest understatement of the year for many years. <laughs> Soon, I low-key abandoned my Beanie Boos and was playing with my LPS full time. Keep in mind, I was nine, okay? It was also then in my little closet in my old house that I came up with the original concept for Paws and Claws. So, in a way, I have a lot to thank for this time period in my life. For a long time, I also didn't have anything to film with since all I really had was my DS. <laughs> 3DS in purple. Wow, I was really just the coolest kid on the block. But then my mom got an iPad Christmas of 2015. It was not Christmas, it was Valentine's Day. Anyways, <laughs> and my friend was telling me about this super cool app called Video Star. You can all see where this is going. So I decided to try it out. Obviously all of my first videos sucked so badly and that is why they will never see the light of day. Fun fact though, I actually deleted my first video way back in the day, like a few days after I made it because I thought that it sucked. Things really haven't changed, I still hate all of my content. <laughs> 
now we'll just skip to when I moved into this house that I'm still currently living in. I was still super into making LPS videos on Video Star, but I didn't really have anywhere to post them. And some of my other friends started telling me about this other app called iMovie, so that really also changed the game for me because I could start filming the absolute worst improvised series you'd ever see, which will also never see the light of day because I deleted all of them because, once again, I hate my content. In short, LPS had basically consumed my life and I started to get desperate to post my content somewhere because apparently I am a narcissist, even as a child. <laughs> Anywhere, honestly, genuinely, genuinely anywhere. My mom said no to YouTube and Instagram, but an app that was very much popular among my friends called Musically, she was okay with. When I joined Musically, I had no idea that there was even an LPS community to begin with. I just joined it with the intention of making an LPS account. If you don't know what Musically is, it's basically TikTok, but before the rebrand and the audience was mostly like 11 to 14 year olds. Obviously there were some younger and some older on the app, but for the most part that was usually the age range. The main difference between Musical.ly and TikTok was that Musical.ly was basically like all about lip syncing. It was way more lame, not even close to being as popular as TikTok is, and yeah, genuinely just TikTok is a lot better than Musical.ly ever was or could have been. So I made my account when I was 11 and posted like three times a day almost every day, and, and that's also where I made my first internet best friends. And genuinely, things were really great. The largest LPS muser at that time was someone named LPS Gappers, mostly known for her humor and like, and her insanely good video star edits, like, to say I was jealous was like the biggest understatement. <laughs> there were also a few close behind her, like LPS Catgirl, LPS Tabby Cat, and you know, just a few others that my mind is blanking on right now because I don't know, I want to offend people, apparently. No, I really don't. I'm just, it's been so long. Okay, guys, just please give me a break. <sighs> Why am I telling you this? Because I I actually kind of feel bad about this next part of the story. <laughs> I don't know why or how, but somehow my Musical.ly grew insanely fast. Before my one year, I had over 22k followers, 22,000 followers, yeah, it was crazy. And I still don't understand why me, like my content is not anything special and it never was. I also never used hashtags, like how how did people find my content? Like how how did I get any views, any likes, anything? I don't, I don't get it, I never did. But then the more baffling part was that I got crowned before my first year. I only remember this because it was March 1st, which is a very satisfying date. So <laughs> only reason I remember it, only reason I remember it. <sighs> Jesus Christ, what the actual hell. <laughs> the actual hell is my life. Anyways, <laughs> mm, I'm trying to keep it together and I'm not doing a good job. Now I'm going off script. Okay, we're breathing. We're breathing. So my anniversary was either the 12th or the 16th of March. I don't really remember. Getting crowned on Musical.ly is basically the equivalent to getting verified on Instagram or old Musical.ly aka, I mean new Musical.ly aka TikTok nowadays. So yeah, that's just what it, that's what it is. After that, I grew even faster and I had about 68K the day that my crown just disappeared. It was just gone. It was before I'd even had it for a year. I, I honestly don't understand how or why it happened, and I honestly also understand if you don't believe me that it ever actually happened in the first place, because I'm crazy. That's just, that's a fact. Besides the point, I did email Musical.ly multiple times about it, and they never responded. I honestly kind of just assumed that they thought I was lying, which once again, do I blame them? Not really. So in short, that really took a stab to my self-esteem, which is already low. So that's when I kind of started to move over to Instagram full time. I started my Instagram in November, 2017, but I like never ever used it until the summer of 2018. Um, there were also some personal things going on in my life that made it so I wasn't really at my house a whole lot. So I also really couldn't film my music leads a lot. So that was obviously an issue. <laughs> During this time, I actually started to learn how to use VideoStar correctly and make some decent looking music videos. Well, okay, I thought that they were decent at the time. They are not decent. <laughs> and depending on when this video goes up, you can actually watch a video of those old videos and gross stuff. I'll put it up in the eye, wherever it is, if you actually want to see that gross trash. But I started posting those on Instagram and they started to get me actually a fair bit of traction. I would show you them. 
but you know, then copyrights, then I wouldn't make any money off this video. Just kidding. I mean, okay, it's a factor, but like, also, I want you guys to go watch them on my Instagram. But yeah, so if you want to see the ones that I post on my Instagram, they're all still up on my Instagram. You're probably gonna have to scroll a fair bit, but they're there. So they were in like 2018. And while you're there, you could also like, you know, follow my Instagram, you know, if you wanted to. I post a lot of photography on there. I'm actually fairly active and I put a lot of updates and stuff on my story about my channel. So like, why wouldn't you want to follow me? This is just becoming one big self-promotion. Oh my god. In November 2018, I finally had enough money saved up so then I could get After Effects for a full year. And let me tell you, those first edits were so bad. I, I, we're not even gonna talk about it. But then for Christmas that year, I got my absolute dream camera, AKA the one I'm using right now, AKA the Canon Rebel T7i. And I named her Camille, also known as Cami for short. You guys might recognize that name because that's what I always call her out on when she is out of focus in my videos, which is actually a very very often. Probably a lot in this video because I'm not really looking at the viewfinder because I'm actually trying to read my script. With these two things, I felt like I was finally in a place that I could start my YouTube channel. And I also finally got my mom to agree. So it was time, right? Well, I started to overthink the whole situation and convince myself that it was going to flop and that I was a failure. But luckily, one of my friends at the time made a bet with me. She said that if she could get an Instagram account to get 50 people to follow it, basically the Instagram account's whole purpose was to get 50 people to follow that account. So then if they the 50 people followed that account I would start a YouTube channel like that was the whole point so, like if you followed you were like yes I support sweet starting a YouTube channel that's kind of what it was and I agreed to this because I never thought it was ever going to happen not even a day later the account had over 50 followers so I started my channel and I posted my very first gross disgusting video that I actually made literally months before that my whole account is a fraud <laughs> I didn't post a whole lot at the beginning, but I decided to make my first short film, also known as Thought Criminal, and after that I started posting about twice a week. Now I only post like once a week because, well, I may be a workaholic, but I'm not crazy. I do have school, so... <laughs> My channel has grown so much in this last year and it's crazy to think that a year ago at this time I only had like 3k like and now we've like tripled that like thank you um I really honestly just wanted to say thank you so much especially for those who have been following me since my musically days why <laughs> if you ever wondered why I never really promote my TikTok it's Genuinely because I like literally never post on there anymore. It's sweet old PSTV though If you have any reason to want to go and check it out You can look at all my really super old videos A lot of them got deleted because of the new guidelines that went in place because I started my account before I was 13 But there's still uh, so much content on there specifically outdated character lore if you're interested in that I'm still the most active on Instagram and I post photos kind of often I post like three photos like maybe once a week, maybe, I don't know, it depends how many photos I have on hand, honestly. <laughs> Anyways, this was my journey video, it was still chaotic because I went off script a lot like I'm doing right now, okay. <laughs> I hope it wasn't dreadfully boring and I just want to thank you guys again for making the past two years so incredible. I'm looking forward to making so much more content for you guys, like you genuinely have no idea how much stuff I have in the works. Okay, okay, I'll just shut up now. I love you all so much and remember, stay sweet.